Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show and of course to the number one online TV show. And guys, with me ni kona Nadia, ukitaka Kanadia. Wano tunaruso kukuita Kanadia sasa? Hapala. Usha toka kwa Kanadia. Usha toka kwa Kanadia, bana. Mia. Wow, anyway, Nadia, ukaja? Nikopoa. Wow, naona, yani, usha toka matani, inaitangu aje, usha toka live ya maternity. Kia, sayi niko... Nafanya kazi hapa pale. Yeah. Wow, leo ume, umetarishia baba Kai a surprise ya kumwelcome home. Also it was a belated, a belated birthday na pia belated, kuna kitu kama belated father's day. Yeah, maybe you can tell us if he crawly to Um, you know one thing yenye anapenda ni watu, anapenda kuwa around people. So it wasn't about having something glamorous per se, it was just having um, his friends and um, some of our common friends together and just have a good time. Yeah, it was not like glamour and red carpet and it was just about having fun and for sure I've never had fun in such a long, long, long time like the way I had fun today. Yeah. Okay. Was it after Mekuda Jana or you've been preparing it at your away? So what happened? I had the thought but see when meipanga, so when um, his ticket ili changiwa, so John ando akaniambia, it was on Sunday, akaniambia nitaland kesho saflani. So you know, I, we had a short notice considering tukona tuzinia tunafanya. So I just, you know, um, called one of my friends, nitaftia place flani, kantaftia, we just have like a kadina ivi, it's not like a party or something, just uh, play, have fun with friends and eat, make merry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Now, when you make a leo, because to shout, to almost actually come alizia. Do you feel like you always have to achieve whatever you want? I mean, the best part is just seeing him laugh. You know, have fun. They gonna check a kama yani me fry kabisa. That's the best part, because I believe you can have something like extra glamorous. Alafu, aku na ile fun. You know, but when you just have friends. It's it's beautiful because mna jiachia mna kuwa yourselves. It's beautiful, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. What can you tell maybe wale watu wenye wali manage kumto? Had you home? Adi akafika hapa akifikiria it was supposed to be a business meeting. I mean, one of the things that you need to make sure ni kumbo. Yani ukimbo tundo hata shuku. Lakini ngea kuwa na mfuraisha the whole day angejua. But ni membo the whole day. Amesema mku wa hata in good terms. Ya, nilikuwa nafanya hivyo intentionally. So that ikuwe rahisi sisi kuwa chana like tumeshinda na the whole day. So akisima, ah, wacha mi niende. Like haezi pinga, you know, ama siezi pinga kwa za mejam. Ya, but the people who've done, who've like convinced him, myself and Jembe, Mepaya jopoa. So, nini ni ulifanya specifically yeji mneza kumbuka? Ikambo. Because, pia kubo mtu, kisi kitu raithi. Tulikuwa, tulikuwa tumetoka rehearsals, kuna plesi uenda hapo Baricho Road rehearsals a band. So, tulikuwa tunaongeza group, his band members, na sisi hapo, tulikuwa tumesimama hapo. Then, I don't know, he mentioned something like, uneza wambi, tuenda yo, bada la kutuweka hapa, nikambia, we have two two brands. Acha kuchanganya brands hapa. Kusma, eh, okay. He may talk happy. Come here, yes. We are two brands. Afu nzo ni bele ya watu kila mtu wanza haka. Haka mbea, eh, eh. Sando haka. Haka jitua kasma pole, haka enda. So haka tembea. Naze buku mnini. So unujo kila mtu walikuwa najua. So ime mbo kapisa liku watu natika kuenda home. Because hape ndi kwanza kuarektiwa mbele ya watu. Every man. Hape ndi kuarektiwa mbele ya watu. So liku wame boeka. Nasima, eh, leo mevuka boda. But... I was just trying to keep in good terms nayo. Ainge ainge kwa poa nikimboi yani ndo lasma no ndo ulikuwa unafanya hivi. Eh yeah. How was it especially was it Jana wani juzi juzi on Father's Day you you know ilikuwa ni Father's Day but he was not around you only feel like. Um a cohasol so na ni kitu tulikuwa tumeongea before cuz ako na projects zake flani anafanyia. So, tulikuwa tumekubaliana, anaenda, you know, uh, tua na kufanya hustle zake. So, for me it was okay, though it was a little bit challenging and, and lonely. But ilikuwa poa. Mm -hmm. One of the things I didn't do, I didn't wish him a happy birthday ndo wakue. A, a happy father's day ndo wakue. Mm. What's happening? You <laughs> never wished him. Yeah, I didn't. Because I wanted him to be like, 
because it was supposed to be a surprise. So nilikuwa nataka jiulize maswali. Yeah, in which he did. Na venye alirudi alijiuliza ama that day probably via a text akakuuliza, "Hey babe, I'm the unajua ni fast for the stay na hujamwish." You know it's very weird. Aliona kwa alikuwa anaona mtu sijui ame aliona mtu ilikuwa ni leo after tushapanga aliona mtu sijui amebaiwa keki na amekuwa ni anakaniambia mm, mm. watu wengine wana venye wanafanywa na mabibi zao ona mimi hata sikuambiwa happy fathers day nikacheka tu ngame happy fathers day belated akaniangalia tu vibaya na kaendelea na shughuli zake so um but ilikuwa tushapanga so i knew what was coming yeah Wow. Uh, let's come to yourself now as Nadia. I've seen on your page that you have a concert, a comeback concert. Maybe you can tell us a little, a little about it. So the comeback uh, concert is mainly um, just to reintroduce myself and tell people I'm back in terms of... <laughs> I know. Um, mostly in terms of performances. Because I was going to perform, I was going to maternity leave. So ni, mostly in terms of performances, I was promoters, I'm back. Just having my own thing here. Pia ku kickstart my own tours around the country. So it's going to be in Meru, 2nd of July. Uh, Meru Teachers College from 6pm to till it. Yeah, so entrance ni 500 shillings regular na VIP 1500. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How is it as a new mom? Now especially sasa kuanza kurudi kwa biashara. You know, sometimes kama saa hizi umeacha mtoto wako nyumbani uko hapa. Like how are you coping up with it? I mean, ni kujichukulia tu kama the rest of the moms. Unajua yetu yuko different juu kwa kwa limelight. But me I've seen my my cousins, my sisters mtu anajifungua na anarudi job tu after three months so for me naichukulia tu sema hata ningekuwa nimeajiriwa nime any other job ningekuwa three months off na nirudi tu job naona so naichukulia tu just like the rest of the moms for me one thing sipendi kujiwekea ni pressure um, pressure to you know to to, to to be a certain way pressure to unajua kulikuwa na ile pressure ya one month rudi job so hiyo ni pressure yenye siko anataka kujiwekea cuz at the end of the day nataka kuwa na family si mtu ndo moja si wawili at least three kids so fali anza sai shaanza and I'm, I'm proud of the journey it's amazing um, i've been working i've still been i've been making money you know my skills are went up it's funny <laughs> during my pregnancy so i just thank god cuz vitu zingine who i don't take for granted because most of the time unapata female artists mtu akijifungua anapotea kwa scene. I feel I was getting <laughs> Yeah, so ni kuchipanga tu na ku, ku set your priorities right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because actually you find that at our my fans ama peer the society itself huwa wanajua. Yaani msichana kama ulikuwa kwa limelight ama ulikuwa msanii, a media personality or anyone ukishapata mtoto that yani kuna hiyo kitu imekuanga like it's the end of you. Um, ni kujipanga tu siwezi sema it's the end of, of me for instance um, i remember the first time ulikuwa unapata usiende gym nishaenda gym eh? kidonda yangu ikaanza kuuma so i had to put a pause so unapata mtu anasema oh my add weight nini but me i know i'm i'm not putting pressure on myself because i have a wound so ni ile zile tizi tu za kutembea nikienda gym tu ni you know trade treadmill and stuff hiyo tu peke yake because i know aina aja niende nijipe pressure hapo you know then ni kwa kidonda ni kwa tena narudi surgery you know so it's kujielewa tu na doing not doing the most na pia kujipanga nilikuwa nimejipanga niko na ep yangu imefanya poa nimetengeneza money off it with boomplay niko na releases zingine i'm working on my album i have a home studio so it's just I have so many things in store since that um, at the end of the day I'm a human being you know natamani sana nile mtoto wangu um later on sikuja nikuwe lonely kwa sababu nilitafuta pesa nikasahau some element about me watu wako close na mimi wanaweza kuambia I'm a family person even back home like naenda gamwe hoko almost every week <laughs> I'm a family person that much so for me I always wanted a family I always wanted kids kuna watu wana feel maybe female artists maybe before me walichukua different path maybe kuna wenye wako career oriented wako i mean family oriented unajua but for me i'm family oriented this is my personal life kama mtu ananipenda nipende tu muziki yeah okay
but uh, it's being said like uh, when you love something, especially we women, unapatanga kama saizi, maybe uko so much into family. How you, how are you going to make sure that hakuna saidi taumia, saidi ya familia na pia ya mziki? Number one is getting mtu ana, anaelewa we ni msani. No. My mom, it take long to elewa ye ni mini msani. My dad sai like yeye na nambia pana usifanye hivi mbona hii picha imekuwa hapo vi na kafani you know asha elewa dynamics za showbiz when it comes to my partner that's arab boy anaelewa like kabisa hadi like even with the tours and stuff alikuwa ananiambia during time yenye wako maternity break wacha mimi niende ni tue when now it's your turn to go at least ukienda usema for two weeks there's someone to be behind with the baby you know those dynamics una feel uni msana kuelewa so it's about wale watu wako around you do they support you do they understand you my mom is there anambia yes kuna na show a week mimi nitakuja just stay in the house and take care of the baby hata kama uko na nani i'll be there you know kumsaidia mwenzako so it's i have very very understanding people na i think it's because pia kwenye nimefika sijai wasahau you know so once you build that unapata kuna watu wanakusupport na inakuwa very easy yeah yeah umetaja pale ukasema unapata ngaonsi na while kuna mtu atakwambia pale maybe out there ume add weight sijui nini like how have you managed you know ile body mtu alikuwa nayo especially same for instance kama sai maybe na kaivi when i get a kid definitely it won't be the same anymore until maybe after a while how umeko kikopaje unajua sometimes we mambo ya body we as women inaweza kukujia usifeel like feel vibaya unajua umeko kikopaje number one cjk pressure because i have a wound yenye bado ina heal so i can't do the most you know so pia apart from that i am exclusively breastfeeding unaelewa so there is me taking care of my baby and me taking care of my body so once i understand that i mean any other, any other person's opinion is on my business when i got into the, this industry i got in the industry because I, i'm an artist all right so i know ni ngumu kuangalia hizi kusahau hizi vitu zinyama kuziweka kando but people need to focus on that i have a, i have a life you know if for me it was yes i want to have a baby i want to have a family vitu kama hizo that's my personal decision and you never there is a quote eh? I, I i listen to a lot of these guys who are before me especially the the american showbiz perspective unapata mtu anasema one time eh, you're on the stage within a flip of a second you're the one who's kwa crowd so life changes very fast when you're a public figure kuna moment in uko kila kila mtu anakusifia in a flip of an eye uko kwa wewe unashangilia mtu mwingine you know so that's something yenye unafu una count me na that's something i always use every single day nasema niki flip hivi ni kuwe kuna mtu alikuwa anataka kunioa na alikuwa potential tulikuwa tu sawa juu nilisikiza watu kama sio mzee hapana sijui yako alafu hata kama itakuwa ni mistake wacha iko ni mistake yako you go through the process either i made it right or i made it wrong but niki flip macho hivi when tables have reversed ni jangalia sema ah i followed what my heart wanted family the person you know career why can't women have it all kwa nini kwa nini usi have it all wanataka ni kuwe hapo twitter men are bad you know for me it's it's about this is what i want and i'm i'm cool with it yeah any other person's opinion please keep it yeah okay. message about american showbiz normally we see uh, when it comes to those uh, other countries ab- especially abroad you find that when a person maybe after a while mtu amepata watoto nini they go to tra- to a, an extra mile to transform their bodies would you ever do such a thing i can never say no <laughs> you never know you never know i never i'm i'm never the person to judge because kuna watu wanaenda because they have wamepitia situations flani so i'm not the person to judge ndo okay so natumea zangu taki mnatoa hii interview so I, i don't judge whatever you know I, whatever people decide to do with their bodies unajua mwili ni yako wewe imagine mtu atakwambia kenye utafanyia mwili yako na ni yako you know so it's kila mtu na choices zake na mwili yake i'm not the person to judge at mwili yako na ni yako do we chonge jifanyie vile unataka ya 
Wow, tukimalizia Nadia, I would like to tell us, what is your plan? Umerudi, unarudi sasa, you have a concert, uh, are you going to be performing, sasa tuko expect, kwa easy shows zetu, ama itakuwa? Yeah, I'll be performing, of course, but um, the branding is going to be different. Um, mimi si mtu sa, at least kwa kila poster mnaniona. I think ni time to tuweke kalimit flani. Can you, you don't have to be in every deal, you don't have to be in every poster, you don't have to be in every club. Because sometimes you have to be under court. Now, I've, I've, you know, I think the three months, I take time, I reflect. Sometimes we have to be able artists, we have to be able to be able to be able Because we under court a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A person wants to look like they're busy, but they're not. They're, they're not making good money. You know, so for me, it's, I've had that reflection, and I'm like, I don't want to be in every poster. I just want to be quality. Not katuni kuetuni quality. Ukini ona maali ujue ni meli pa poa, ni mefanya kazi yangu poa, contracts ziko right, relationship iko amazing, but you know, there are those key rebranding processes that na feel ni meka for three months, ni mengea na watu wangu, na na juan ni, me, ni me take into place, yeah. <laughs> so you have to take care of each stage. Kunaile stage nye, you're you're a new artist, hot artist, and you're you're a big artist. But kuna zile stages kila mtu yukuwa. So kuna places una is a mess. Either you're a legend or a legend. So ni could just take care of the brand. Yeah. I would like you to tell something. Yes, uh, the other day it was Father's Day. I would like you to uh, give a message to Aruboy and also to your fans. Um, I mean, he's a supportive partner. That is no doubt. He's my friend. Other than any other thing. God forbid. Like, that would be the best decision I ever made in terms of a baby daddy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he's he's a good human being, number one. Um anapenda mtoto wake sana, 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 sana. Um and <laughs> you know, sometimes he's the bigger person. Kuna situations and na feeling ingekuwa ni mtu mwingine sijui ningekuwa wapi, you know? So he's an amazing dad, he's a caring dad and me and Asib just pray for him and wish him all the best in whatever he does. Yeah, after you you know, let him keep buying the good presents he's been buying. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's amazing. And um, to my fans, I love you. Thank you for supporting me and thank you for, you know, holding it down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, a quick one. Yeah. Would you ever, like, Bado Huja want to, to introduce your face to Akai? Are you guys planning to ever do it or may plan kumle out of social media? Um, for now, to may play out of social media because we're still thinking about it. Um, yes, so Nile, but I can't come to go. So, let's see, because this is what to me agree because I'm gonna do more like kill him to go on a say, see to him to moja. So, let's go to me agree what because yeah, I'm protect sana. I think to to the money, okay, because I have a dog on in here because I mean. Ata ata kikuwa out there, bado ata mbua tu ni mtoto wetu na you know the repercussions tu ni zile zile you know pia kumjenge ya brand yake unajua life pia me change squeezy vitu ziko online so but uh, once we in a consensus I think ita kwa tupo yeah thank you so much Nadia we wish you all the best and welcome back iyo show to fika pali meru wadao tuende tu support Nadia wetu make sure you get, you get those tickets uh, wanapata zile tickets wapi um, www.tokea.com Yes. Wow. So guys, uh, that is it. It has been the Mungai Eve Show. In case you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe. We meet the next video.